Hello there, Sagittarius. Well, welcome to your bonus April 2023 reading. Let's see what's happening for Sagittarius. What's going on here? Okay, so we have... Oh, the Six of Cups. Are we starting with that, are we? Oh, a blast from the past. Something trying to return. This could be anything. Could be a friend. Could be a job. Okay. <laughs> Spoke too soon, huh? Page of Cups. Someone coming in with a love offer. Maybe even apology. Let's get a charm on this page of cups. Oh, we have a key. Okay. Opening doors. Answering questions. Something might be revealed here. Do you like the mystery? <laughs> okay, let's see. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Then we have the Nine of Cups. Your wish fulfillment. Oh, am I liking this? Your wishes and dreams come true. You might have been wanting this. Waiting for this. Ooh, it's going to surprise you. We have the tower. The tower is Aries Scorpio energy. Some of them, they might just come out of the blue and just surprise you. Knight of Swords. Determined. You know, failure is not an option with the Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Let's see what charm we have for this. Ooh, they might be flying in to see you. Might be coming in from a distance. Travel involved. Or maybe they want to take you on a trip. Look at this one's flying in. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Let's see. Knight of Swords. And the King of Swords. Ooh, you could definitely be dealing with someone um, that's very strategic, very intelligent, um, very determined, it feels like. A straight shooter. Again, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This could be the energy that you're in right now, too. Okay, let's see. Charm on this. We have. Oh, they want long-term commitment here. Look at the anchor. They're looking for the long-term. Wheel of Fortune. This person feels like you're destined to be together. Divine timing. Maybe they're just waiting for the right time to, to approach you. Okay, let's start clarifying a little bit here. Okay. Why is the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups here? Okay, we have the Six of Challenges. Okay, so, you know, they're doing a lot of contemplating, a lot of thinking here. This card, I don't know if you can see that. I got a very small picture that I'm looking at here. Um, really doing a lot of thinking, but the Six of Challenges would be moving away from something to go to something better here. I like to do Sixes together, too. I'm getting unity here. This is um, moving away from rough times to something better. They're hoping to take your relationship to something better. Something better than what it was. Okay, what about um, the Page of Cups? We have Seven of Spells. All right. You know, they've been doing a lot of thinking. And, you know, you are above the rest. There's no one that can compare to you. There's, I don't know. They're just doing a lot of... Th I just feel like someone really deep in thoughts here. What about the Nine of Cups? Or whatever you're achieving in life uh, right now. If you're going after something, it seems like um, you are the one to pick. You are like the... The top runner up or, or top runner up. You are the one that people want. If it's for a job position, you be the one. You're above the rest. And we have here the two of spells. This could be someone just trying to decide on which way to go with this, making a decision here. How to approach you? Because here they are, they're gonna surprise you. Or you might have two different choices in love or in some kind of situation. You might be the top one that people want whether it's a job or a love but you're going to have a couple choices what about the tower Ooh, well you're going to be the dancing bears <laughs> you're going to be dancing to this this is this person might surprise you ask you out it might be maybe to some kind of social event or um looks like you're going to be celebrating something though Okay, you might. I think you're very happy about this person coming in. If you're not, then this probably isn't your reading. What about this Knight of Swords? Yeah, see, you have options. We have the Seven of Visions here. You have options. There are different choices for you. Um, it might be a little confusing. Which way are you going to go? There's, and they're all different. But 
this person knows that you have options. That's why they want to come in here. They're flying in. Coming in on a jet plane. <laughs> okay, what about the King of Swords? Okay, they're afraid that you might turn them down. They're you know, thinking about this. Are you going to be bored with what they have to offer? Is it not going to be enough? Did they miss out on an opportunity? Are they too late? We have here, okay, we have the oldest one. Here's a very wise person. This person is, um, this could also be Taurus energy. We have number five here. And changes. Um, this person wants commitment. Almost feels, I'm getting an energy here. This person feels like you've been together for a very long time, many lifetimes. And she feels like you just fit. You belong. They feel this so strongly. Wow. Very intense. See, going with this too. Destiny, will of fortune. They want this commitment. They want this forever. They want forever and ever. Okay, now, let's see what else we get for you guys. What else? There's Sagittarius. Oop, who came flying out? The Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is your energy. You're focusing on your coins. You're very intent on what you're doing here with your coins. It feels like you've been putting a lot of time and effort into your business, into your career, into building your finances here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have here. Uh, you're going through a transition too, Dragonfly. Some kind of change. Okay. And we have the moon. I think you're doing something here and the other people's. Because I also felt like as I was reading this person here. That you're doing quite well financially or in your career, in your business. And you might be keeping this to yourself. Keeping quiet. Does it feel some, something very secretive about something? Pisces energy with the moon. It, yeah, it feels like there's some kind of secret around your finances here. Let's see what else we have. The Knight of Wands. Okay, this feels like a totally different energy. Ooh, someone new is coming in. This one's coming in for a landing. Look at him. You can see him. He's coming in. Whoa. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some passion, some desire. This could be you going after something, too, that you're passionate about. Ooh, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. Maybe someone trying to take the wheel here, take control of the situation. Knight of Wands. Then we have Judgment. Yeah, you might have to make a decision between a couple people. See how we have the Two of Wands here? This person comes in first. And then as they're trying to come back around or trying to make something happen for me, someone new comes in. Usually it's the other way around. Usually when someone new comes in that pushes the other one's buttons, they say, better make a move. I feel the opposite. Hey, it could be opposite for you, though. It could be this person comes in first for some of you. Um, this person, sorry. But there's a judgment. You have to make a decision here. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. And leave it to Sagittarius. This t feels totally different. Okay, let's say you have a... We should have three here. <laughs> it looks like you have three different people. Possible. Mm, yeah, because the energies all feel different. They're pulling me in different directions here. So they all feel different. This is a good match for you, though. You might be deciding on these two and say, Oh, I don't know what to do. And then all of a sudden, woof, the King of Pentacles comes in and say, Who are you? <laughs> let's see. Let's get a charm on this one. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, some stable, reliable. Ooh, this arrow is going to go right for you. This is going to hit you hard. This person feels very strong. Very, um, their energy is just something magnetic. But I think you guys are on the same page. You're both maybe fo focusing on your finances. Both stable, reliable. This is a blast from the past. You're not too sure about it. But this, and this comes in like... Whoa, some passion, desire. But when this one comes in, this is different. This feels different. This feels stable, but exciting. Uh, I feel abundance with this person. There's all grapes around them. I think grapes represent abundance. Mm. And then we have that little daisy. Loves me, loves me not. <laughs> Let's see, the king of pentacles. Mm. All right. Then we have... The Nine of Wands. 
You, I think you might be, you've been through a lot, so you're not going to rush into anything. You're going to really think about this. Oh, we have the two of cups. Well, eventually, look what we have. Looky, looky, who's got the cookie? <laughs> you're going to have a connection that is a soulmate connection that you're going to feel very close to someone here. It could be different for everyone. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Why is, let's get more on this Queen of Pentacles. What's going on with this Queen of Pentacles? The Ace of Boons. Yeah, see, you're, you're, fi you're focused on your finances. They're doing well here. With this toad comes up, they give you a toad ring, and they say, don't ask where this toad ring came from. So this is like, don't question. There might be something coming in, some money coming in, opportunity coming in. And you're like, how did I get so lucky? Don't ask. It's meant for you. Whatever's coming in here, this opportunity is meant for you. I like it. Finances look good. Now, what about this moon? Why is the moon here? What is the secret? I think the secret is just you keeping things to yourself. Absolutely nine of moons. You are being very independent here. You might be starting your own business. going to do quite well. You're doing something I own. Maybe it's a side thing that you're doing. Whatever it is, it's going to turn out quite well for you. Let's see. What about this knight of wands? The Don Juan, Don Juan. We want to know about them. We have here sunlight. They make you happy. Could be a Leo. There's happiness that comes in with this card. That's why you're going to be so confused. <laughs> what about this judgment card? This is like a breath of fresh air when this person comes in. I think they have a nice this jovial personality or... Um, they just come in. It's like, no pressure. It's like, but then it's, again, you're saying, how long is this going to last, maybe? Because they come in more of like a free spirit. Are they free? Are they going to take off? But it sort of, maybe it brings you out of being <clears throat> in a burdensome, um, you know, it lightens your load a little bit. Okay, what about this judgment? <clears throat> Ooh, eight of challenges. You're going to be in your head head so confused not knowing what to do all these choices Sagittarius but what's new <laughs> okay now I want to know about this king of pentacles what's the scoop on this one Ooh, the folly they're gonna surprise you this is gonna this person's gonna knock your socks off they're coming in they're surprising you the folly is like the tower so we actually have like surprises coming in for you a lot of shocking things but this is good i feel really this person gets you giddy gets you um all the butterflies i mean this is good here but when this one shows up whoa 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 <laughs> what about the nine of wands let's see what's going on with this nine of wands this might be you being very protective here too oh all right now this is the forest lord this is, I think you're like, I don't know, you come into power or there's some kind of authority here. So maybe you're tra taking control of a situation because it's like nine of wands and with the, the forest lord, it's like, yeah, you're in control. And we have the seeker of boons. Okay, so this is, you know, taking your time, being cautious, not rush into anything here. Could also be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I'm taking it as your energy, as just, you know, really looking things over. Don't rush it. That's why I keep on being the energy. Like, don't rush anything. Of course, we're going to Mercury retrograde, so things can shift. Things can change. So you don't really know what the outcome is going to be in, in the end. So you don't rush anything. But be in your control. You take control of the situation. You're in charge. Okay. Now let's see. What's the word? Let's go with the Page of Cups. What's the scoop on this Page of Cups? Insult. Accuse. Wow. Look at that. They, I never had that stand up like that. Ooh, a tower. Okay, so when this pup... When this pup... When this pup comes in... I mean, it is a page. It could be a pup. Okay, here I go. Sorry. <laughs> Not enough sleep. Getting punchy. Okay. The tower. Aries Scorpio energy. Some kind of surprise. Someone's accusing someone of insulting someone. Now, this might be for you. might not be for you. If some, someone doesn't come in and insult you, then it's not for you. And very good. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> but someone might come in and shock someone, insult them somehow. 
saying, where did that come from? Well, that's no way to get someone to <laughs> come around. <laughs> what about the Knight of Swords? We have return. Ooh. Future. It's it. Okay, so here we have the Knight of Swords trying to return, hoping that there is a future together. Is it? They might be asking you a question that starts with, is it? What about this King of Swords? Feelings. Meaning. Likely. Okay. So this person wants to have a meeting with you. And likely they want to express their feelings. Okay. What about this Queen of Pentacles? Now you can always rearrange these words to make sense to you if it doesn't. What I'm saying here. Jealousy. Honest. Realize. Ooh, so you're gonna so you're gonna realize that someone's being honest and there's jealousy here. Of course, I think there will be jealousy. You have three people. I, I'm thinking that might be three people here. Might be different for some of you guys. All wanting your attention. So there's gonna be jealous and you're gonna, jealousy. You're gonna realize that these people are jealous of each other by the, what they say, what they do. You know, Knight of Swords. That's right. We have the Knight of Swords came twice. Well, Knight of, why did I put the Knight of Wands? I don't know why I'm saying light, Knight of Swords. This makes sense for the Knight of Wands, too. Knight of Wands. Lust. Regret. Past. Ooh. So someone regrets something about their past. Something to do with lusting here. Okay. So, yeah, we do have the Knight of Wands, the Don Juan, Don Wanda. So, they might have had a pretty active past and they might be regretting that now. Maybe that is going to kick them out of the running here. Okay, let's see. What about the King of Pentacles? Obsessed. Very soon. Present. Okay, they could be in the present, they could be presenting you with something, or they could be bringing you a present. But very soon something happened. Of course, we have the tower, the folly here. So something's going to happen quite quickly. And this person, maybe, you know, as soon as they meet you, they might be obsessed with being with you. It might be, whoa, they got a lot of passion and desire. For, for like, usually the king of pentacles comes out the very stable, reliable, you know. <laughs> this person, I don't know, you do something to them. You, you get them going here. Okay, let's see. What about the signs? Let's see what signs. I think I'll move it over this way so we have room for the signs. That's all. What signs Sagittarius can be dealing with? Sagittarius. Okay. Does your sign ever not come out on when we do your readings? Libra? I think it does come out a lot. Virgo. Sagittarius again might be dealing with another Sag. That would make sense, you know. A lot of passion. Gemini and Taurus. Alrighty. Okay. So we have we have Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> no emotions here. Just Earth, Wind, and Fire. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> this could put placements in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, future. Sagittarius, Libra, Virgo. Sagittarius, Gemini, and Taurus. Okay, now, let's see what letters we have for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for the first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have L, K, D, X, Y, P, Z, E, W, A, I need one more, and G. We got a wag. Someone's going to wag their tail. <laughs> okay, so the letters that we have here today are L, K, D, X, Y, P, Z, E, W, A, G. Okay, let's see here. What names do want to come out for you today? What are the names? Oh, someone jumped out. We gotta see who this is. Carmen. Carmen jumped out. Whoops. 
and Tiffany jumped out. I like to call them out because they're anxious. Okay, Carmen, Tiffany, Mike, Lawrence, Keisha, K E I S H A, Sabine, S A B E E N, Sneha, S N E H A, Diane, Mark, M A R C, Anum, A N U M. Okay, I need one more, just short one here. Okay, let me get one at the very, very bottom. And we have here Ruth. Okay, so those are the names. Now remember guys, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.